Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is my weekly vlog post. This time around, we'll be taking a look at Adobe.com and at some of the free things you can get here from Adobe, including, as I just recently found out, it looks like you can get Adobe Bridge for free. I'll talk more about that in just a minute, but first, let's go ahead and roll the credits and then get into this week's vlog. I've had a couple of people mention to me that you can get the Adobe Bridge program, which is their image cataloging and viewing tool, which is designed to work with all of their Creative CC programs like Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign and so forth, but you can actually get that one for free. Now it's a little bit confusing about that, and I'll show you why right here. If we go up to Creativity and Design and you do a search for all products right down there, and just it'll scroll down you'll find down here a ways, there it is, Bridge, and here it says Download Trial. Now, this looks like you may be able to get it for 30 days, which is the standard trial length on software from Adobe, but it appears you can actually get this as a download for use forever. That is, it's not a trial limited. Even though their button says trial, it appears that it isn't a trial. Let me show you what this is all about. I'm going to just pause the video just for a second while I sign in and once I'm in we'll take a look at this again. Okay, I'm now signed in over here. Just take a look at our link down here and again come down to bridge. It still says trial down here but if we go up here to the upper right hand corner this gives you a link of services that you can use once you have an Adobe account. Now you can get an Adobe account for free. There's no cost to get in the account. And if you have a program like Photoshop Elements, you already have an Adobe account to run that program. So just log in with that account and then all this stuff is actually free for that. Now, almost everything are apps for smartphones, you know, for iOS and also for Android. But there are a few things that are desktop apps as well. If you don't have an existing Adobe account, it's easy to get. Now, there's no link up here, no button, no link down below, any here just to sign up. But all you have to do is just come down to that bridge again right here and do the trial. And in setting up your trial, you're automatically set up with an Adobe account. So that's how you sign up for the account. Don't worry about it saying trial. They're not going to be asking you for any payment information, anything like that. Once you have your trial and you have your account, then simply sign in. There's a little sign in button up here when you're not signed in. When you're signed in, you see these things up here. I'm going to switch over to the account and get a better view of what's available here for free inside of the account. And here are inside of the account, creative account free, and let's take a look at what's available down here. There's plan information. This is if you want to go ahead and upgrade to one of their plans, like the photography plan, where you get Photoshop and Lightroom for about $10 a month, or their full plan giving you access to practically everything for about $50 a month. Great plans, great way to go. But if you don't want that, let's go ahead and scroll down and see what we have here. The top thing is the desktop. This is the Creative Cloud desktop. And you can download that. And this is just an easy application for running updates and so forth and everything else, plus an easy access to trials on all their software. And then down here we have a Web Apps and Services. Behance. This is kind of an online portfolio site. Creative Cloud Services, we already talked about that. That's that bit up there. Here's the trials. You get the trials through the Creative Cloud Services. They have a tool over here, Premiere Rush, for sharing online videos. And there's a few more things as well. Click on More. And see here we have Adobe Spark and Fonts. Access to that. Also access to Adobe XD. Now there's even more available here than what you're seeing just in this little list. If we go up here to Overview, Kind of grayed out, but click on that little grayed out overview. There we go. There's the Creative Cloud free. There's the plan. We just looked at that. If you click over here, right hand side, just like that, down here we have download apps, update profile, and so forth. What you want to look at is the download apps link right there under common tasks. Let's click on that. Opens up a new window, as you can see here. And now we can actually see everything that's included in the free. Creative Cloud account. Now, if I try to scroll down here, I only see these two things under desktop apps, where it says your apps, they'll click on this, 
and you then get your scroll window over here right hand side and we can now look at what's actually available there's that bridge right there you can install that notice that this doesn't say install trial any longer or download trial now it just says install so once you get down this far it looks like it's just a straight install so i think the having listed as a download trial earlier on on the adobe website they're just trying to get people to get into buying their regular subscription services but it looks like you can actually use this as a regular installed app including also the premiere rush and the adobe xd scroll down a bit more there's a whole bunch of these mobile apps as well there's premiere rush available on ios there's the behance we talked about momentarily there that's for both ios and android same thing for adobe capture and comp and creative cloud mobile there's an illustrator draw program i haven't tested this one out yet there's the Lightroom CC mobile version in here. This is kind of a limited version of Lightroom, but it's pretty exciting. Photoshop Express, a very limited version of Photoshop, but you can do a lot actually with this. When you add that in with the Photoshop Fix, Photoshop Mix, and Photoshop Sketch, all of these are, of course, smartphone apps over here. And they give you a lot of free capability with your smartphone. I'll be demonstrating all of this stuff once I finally decide on a good way to record smartphones on my computer screen. Once I have that figured out, I'll go ahead and I'll do videos for all these different app tools. There's also one here for Premiere and creating quick web pages here. Adobe Spark, page, post, and video. And finally, the Adobe XD CC right down here at the bottom. And all this smartphone stuff, I'll be demonstrating this stuff in later videos as you get my equipment here my studio set up a little bit better for doing recordings from smartphones now back to the top again again the most important thing i wanted to really mention here was that bridge appears to be able to be installed now i can't actually test it this way because i already have bridge installed with my creative cloud i'm assuming it's the same thing so i'm sure it runs exactly the same and i'll be doing a video all about how to use the bridge later on here on youtube now the adobe bridge is a very powerful image organizing tool and is really much better than the elements organizer that comes with Photoshop elements I really like it much much better than that program it's still not as powerful as a paid program but it's free you know how can you go wrong with something which is free so if you are trying this or using this and you feel that it still is doing everything you want then I'd recommend getting a paid program like my personal favorite the ACDC program which I talked about in the last video and I just found out that the 2019 version of that has a really good facial recognition tool as well I'll be doing a full video all about that coming up here pretty soon but there you go as you can see here you can actually get the bridge as a free download and install right there it's just a little tricky to get to it go ahead do a search on adobe.com if you don't happen to have an Adobe account already go ahead do a search click on their download trial in the process of doing the download trial what you're really doing is you're setting up an Adobe account once you have that you'll then have access to this stuff right in here so there you go some of the free things that are available from the new Adobe Creative Cloud free space in here these three desktop apps including that bridge and then a whole bunch of stuff for your smartphones and before I close out this week's video blog don't forget to click on like on this video that helps me get seen a bit better here on YouTube also make sure you share this video with your friends just click on that share button right down below there right below the video if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe as well that way you'll get notified of all of my new videos as they go up and of course if you want to learn a lot more about how to use any of the programs that I talk about on my YouTube channel take a look at my complete training I have training available either from my own website how to gurus or also it's available on Amazon as well, and the link is right down there in the description. Okay, until next week, see you then. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.